Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. We're going to look at what's going on with you when it comes to love. So let's see. We have relationship. Why do we have ghosted? Oh my gosh. Roll the dice and single. What a message, Leo. <laughs> what is going on here? Some of you may be going into a new relationship or back into a relationship with roll the dice, this gives a anything goes type of vibe, which explains this, you know, this set of cards that has come out. So let's see what's going on here. What's going on with Leo when it comes to love? What's going on with Leo? We have Divine Masculine. Let's get two more. We have Approved. To sign on the dotted line, moving, purchase of a home, car, or business location, loan, grant, scholarship, going back to school. Something is coming through coming through for you. Why did I just start? <laughs> Something's coming through for you. Okay, something that you, some kind of contract you might be waiting for, or something that you're waiting for is coming through. Okay, um, we have pushover. We have... Secret admirer, hmm. Divine masculine, secret admirer, pushover. Someone may be admiring you, someone who may be kind of a people pleaser. They may be trying to please you, or going out of their way to do stuff. Let me see what we got here, Leo, because this is one of those readings where I just don't know what's going on yet <laughs> until I pull more cards. What's going on with Leo and their current connection? What are the energies here between the two? So we have the lovers. This is still giving me mixed signals. Someone's moving on, yet there's still this soulmate connection. There's still this lover's energy. Is it that you're still hooking up with someone who you are separated from? They could be a Gemini for some of you, but Leo, some of you are playing hard to get. That could be, that could explain the back and forth. Maybe you're letting this person in a little bit. There seems to be someone giving you an offer that you're not really accepting. So it could be this secret admirer, this pushover who is trying to extend a hand to you. I am getting the message that some of you, if you are single, you're soon to meet someone who's going to be like bending over backwards for you. You might not be into that person that much. I don't know. I'm just getting that vibe because it seems like you're really in control right now of your love life and you're not really being swayed by anyone or anyone's offer. So it seems like people are offering you love and you're just not really accepting some of you may still be married to someone or still just feeling connected to someone there may be a relationship here that you took seriously maybe in separation you may consider yourself single right now but some of you are thinking of giving that a chance or still believing that there's a way that it can still work and this person does believe that too but they are trying to move on because they just you know when there's separation or a breakup it's like you can believe in it working out again, but there's also your pride telling you, okay, what's done is done. So I feel like this person is trying to move on, but they still have this lover's energy going on when it comes to you. I do see someone, well, this person ignoring the real issues in the relationship. Maybe they want to come forward and not really acknowledging the bad stuff that happened in the past between you two. Kind of just sweeping it all under the rug. You guys may come into some conflict with this person. There may be a new start, but there may still be conflict. This could be a lesson for you, realizing that nothing has changed in this connection. Or that it's going to be a lot of work. We have this Knight of Wands. It seems like someone in this connection just isn't really 100% ready to settle down. Though there is feelings involved a message for leo when it comes to their love situation fertility potential 
powerful creative energy, initiation energy. There may be a new beginning if this has nothing to do with pregnancy, but we have yearning, longing for someone, undesired separation and pinning. So there is someone who is holding on to this connection, but there is someone who is in this Knight of Wands energy. It's almost like an energy of having feelings for you, but they're still unsure. So they're still in this night type of energy and you're trying to keep yourself under control with this emperor energy and not fall for any BS that this person wants to throw at you, knowing that they're not exactly ready to settle or only just stepping into their divine masculinity or femininity. You know, it's like they're not 100% there. But let me look at your main spread. Let's see, what's going on with Leo? What does Leo need to know right now when it comes to their love life? What does Leo need to know right now when it comes to love? This person may be apologizing to you soon because you are seeing them as the page of cups. So we have the hermit. They could be a Virgo for some of you or a Libra with the justice card or a Pisces or Taurus. Okay, so this person right now, when it comes to their emotions, they're kind of withdrawn. They are in the hermit mode. They are doing some searching. They're trying to figure out how they feel. They do feel a soulmate connection with you. They have this justice card. But you have the page of wands. I see that you're open to communication, but you're not really, you're not really putting much into this because you do have two pages. And I feel like that's because it's hard for you to take this person seriously at this point so they may come at you with communication apology whatever but i just see you kind of not getting hopes up too soon you're definitely taking back control when it comes to your emotions because this person may have had you at one point and you're just not letting that happen again again with the aries energy but you are definitely seeing things different or seeing this person for what they are i feel like you're just seeing that this person is not 100% ready to settle down. So kind of just seeing it as that. But the moon energy between the both of you is like there is something deep to this situation. There's some kind of deep connection going on. But with two people who, well, at least one of you, particularly this person, who hasn't really gone into their full-on maturity yet, there's an issue there because... You might be this king, this king of pentacles where you're ready for certain things. You, you're, you know what you want, you're stable, you want stability from another person who comes into your life. You don't want someone to come in with some instability, with some unstable BS. And I feel like a lot of you know to expect, sorry, expect this from that person because they do have that night energy for now, okay? but. They are seeing you as the Four of Swords. They know that you're not really putting much energy into this as you may have in the past. They know that you're kind of taking a break, being distant, giving this a lot of thought. And I feel like they know that you are staying in control. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Why the Hermits? Why is this person feeling the Hermit? towards Leo. Yeah, I feel like they, they're gonna have this sudden urge to just come forward or take a risk based on how they feel. They may be exploring their feelings and thinking about taking a leap. Why justice? Ten of cups. Nine of swords. 
they want that happiness, but I feel like they keep getting hit with your, I guess, playing hard to get type of energy, kind of feeling rejected at times. Why the Seven of Swords? Seven of Cups. Some of you may even have other options that you're exploring or you're just trying to figure out what it is that you um, want when it comes to this person. Like if you're wanting to go forward with them or move away from them. But you do have the tower here. And you do have the five of pentacles. So something may be getting ready to happen here with this person. Um... I do feel like if you are rejecting them, they might get fed up. And you might not be expecting them to kind of just disappear. Like, that's what, that could be why a ghosted is here. Because I feel like this person can only take so much rejection. They may actually disappear if you keep rejecting them. And I'm not saying that you should stop rejecting them. That's your choice. But don't be surprised when they do stop um, taking a leap towards you because I feel like they're, they have their limits, you know, because they do have judgment here. So while they're out here taking leaps towards you, they still have this, you know, this self-respect where they're like, okay, that's enough. Learned my lesson, made mistakes in the past, Leo isn't taking me back, so time to move on. Why the, okay, yeah. Why the eight of, sorry. Why the Four of Swords, Eight of Cups just threw me off. Yeah, they see that you're not making any moves towards them and you're refusing to see the connection you both shared. So they decide to pull away themselves. It's like a self-respect thing and I feel like this could be what does kind of mature this person and make them realize the mistakes that they made can be unfixable or unforgivable. It's kind of a lesson for them. They are learning their lesson with the judgment card being here. Why the King of Pentacles? Somewhat, this is about this person learning. They're learning their lesson and a lot of you are really just making the decision to focus on yourself. I feel like if you're on the fence about this person, they may end up pulling away. They may be the ones who end up just kind of giving up on chasing you. Why the Emperor? Queen of Wands. Some of you may kind of be unbothered by them giving up. Wow. Three of Swords. It could bother you a little bit maybe with Three of Swords, but look at this though. Queen of Wands, you're going to be quite busy and focused on what you have going on. You also have the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. There could be some kind of new beginning, could be in your career, but there could also be a love offer. Again, some of you might not be interested in the love offers. Not all of them, at least. But there is a lot of newness coming into your life here. What do we have for Leo? We have no buts, no for now. Shift your focus and not a good idea. So I do see that a lot of you are just rejecting this person to the point where they give up. So this relationship may be done for good or just done for now, as it says, no for now. And you do end up shifting your focus or this person, maybe both of you end up shifting your focus because... I feel like this person will put their whole self into trying to get back with you, but then they'll just give up just like that at the same time. Love messages for Leo. What's going on with Leo? We have communication. Fate. Deja vu and quality time. Could it be that it's fate that you guys do start over? Maybe, but not for now is what I'm seeing. I do see new offers coming in, potentially new people, but there is communication. Obviously, this person is going to be trying to apologize, but again, they won't be apologizing forever. Okay. 
Let me get a message for you. We have wedding. The situation involves marriage. It could be someone you are married to. Some of you. It's safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive. The highest energy of all. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this could just be a bad timing thing for a lot of you. You kind of end up pushing this person away by taking long to make a decision. Doesn't mean that this can't be resumed later on in life or later, like a few months from now, possibly. But I do see that you just find yourself unable to make a decision and then boom, this person kind of disappears. They kind of just give up. But it's still like you still have a lot more to focus on in your own life. Hence these cards here. You still are taking control of your life and doing what you need to do with this Queen of Wands. And that's like the main important thing for now. Here's what I'm seeing. But this person... I feel like once they start to see that you're not moving, you're not budging, and you're not really seeing the soulmate connection that they're seeing, they give up. Because I feel like this is a person who may extend a hand, but at the same time, they'll do what's best for them as well. They could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But there is that energy of this person um, giving, but then just giving up because they realize that they're just being rejected right, left, and center. So they just give up. Why is it death? Let me see. Why this page of cups? Yeah, you do see that this person is waiting for the apology and, sorry, is given the apology and waiting for the answer, waiting to see what happens. And some of you are just kind of sitting back and watching it all happen causing this person to just give up. Why the page of wands? I do feel like you are taking, just taking care of yourself and trying to move forward. Some of you may be enjoying the chase of this person, but I do feel like you do have solid plans for yourself. Okay. Some of you, I'm going to say it like you're <laughs> that Leo ego may be telling you that this person is going to be big in forever. And that's why I feel like the tower is here, because it may be shocking to you to see that they actually give up on this, on trying. You know, so. But it's still to be determined. Okay, so. Leo, this is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on. Also, feel free to check out my new channel for pick a card readings if you're interested in those. It's linked below in the description. So, like if you enjoyed and thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.